And hello and welcome. We're going right into the action. It's uh, Nerthus against Equinox. This is certainly going to be a good one. Uh, Nerthus is going to take that uh, neutral joust quick really, really fast. As Alfie's looking for the long shot. Will he connect? No! And that will get sent out, but I'm the one you see. Not right now, but you will during break. And with me here today is Aiden VR at CodeCast and in the booth and Doc Education on cams. Uh, but here we go. Still 0-0. Zero, zero, uh, 30 seconds in, and this is back and forth. Yeah, back and forth game right now. Uh, it's going to be picked up here by uh, Cotton the Tiger. They're going to try and clear that one out, but it will be cleared out this time by Nerthus. Nerthus is going to get that one all the way to the blue bubble. Uh, trying to get it will be Kai, but it's going to go a bit high. Um, Ice Eagle trying to get that clear out. It's going to be off the Geo, though. going to be picked up now by Cotton the Tiger, who's going to try and go for the three, possibly. And it's going to be cleared out by Loris. Yeah, attempt to clear there. Not going to quite connect, but it's a scramble for the disc as it does eventually get slapped into the bubble. Now, we'll get connected by Kaibone, who is looking to get that one, but no one's really home. No one's there for the pass. It's just a race to the disc now. Everyone's scrambling as there it is. Finally going to get picked up by Ghosty. Ghosty bounce pass. What a shot. No, no for three, but we'll get two. Lawrence getting it done. Equinox on the board first. Yeah, what a, what a great little play there from Equinox. Uh, definitely putting their points on the board, making their captain in chat proud. Uh, not able to make this one, but hey, that's all right. There's plenty of other games coming up. Maybe we'll get casted again. Who knows? Anyways, out of the tube now, it's going to be Nerthus with it now. Uh, they're going to pass that to the left, and JLS is going to have it. Pass that one all the way up. Teammate on the side, but stunned out. Uh, it's going to be Ice Eagle with this one now. He's going to put that one up, and it will be all the way down to the orange bubble. Uh, this one is going to be picked up by... Ooh, picked up by uh, Nerthus. Uh, they will get stolen from again, and it's going to be cleared out finally. Yeah, getting cleared. At least find some time into the midfield. Slapped right back. But the stacks are just getting a little bit awry as they eventually will get a hand on it. But again, they're rushing that clear too quickly. Just take their time, and oh my, maybe, no golly, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. And Ghosty gets those 4-0 Equinox. 
Ghosty, first four points. Oh, never mind. Lawrence got two points earlier. But Ghosty, doing great on his offense right now. Uh, he saw his opening and he took it. Um, Captain, very proud in chat. Uh, it will be Nerthus again with it. They're going to pass that one right this time. It's going to go all the way down. And it will be picked up by Icy Goal now. He's going to be pressured though. So he's going to throw that one up. And it will be all the way back into that orange side. But it will be flowing. Trying to get that clear out. Picked up by Ghosty again. Ghosty's going to get the pass. Cross trench. Or he's going to try to. But it's going to be picked up by Florin again. He's going to clear that one all the way down into the blue zone. Yeah, cleared into the blue zone. But caught in the tires. No one's home. And he will claw his way at two. Just like that. Making it a two-point game. Nerthus. I mean, absolutely great turnaround from them. Getting it done as, uh, hey, anyone game, 6.30 left on the clock. All right, it will be Equinox's possession for the first time on the Joust. I uh, thought they missed it there, but it will be Ice Eagle picking it up. Um, it's going to be all the way down. Ice Eagle has it again. He's going to take his time, pass it all the way up. Ooh, that's a potential shot there, but it will be off the nest. It's going to be picked up by Lawrence now. He's just going to plant that one in for the two, and he will get it. Uh, close one, though. Cotton the Tiger was right on him, ready to get that save. But ahead by four now is going to be Equinox. Four points up, just like that. But still, less than half this game remaining, or over half this game remaining. Nerthus can definitely come back from this, but Flower, Flower, looking to bounce through. Connect, though, with Lawrence, as that's going to get cleared right back to nobody. As there's a stack race, but the back stack's good, as they look to replace their scoreline. And getting this in their way. But, hey, good things come with time. And they have some of it right now, but no, they get stunned. As it's going to get picked up here by Lawrence. Lawrence immediately back, though, off the head. That might that clear might still come through. No, going to bounce around the tunnel area. Will get picked up here by Ghosty. Ghosty looking for a long three. No, a pass. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Anchor, no, diving, yes, passing. Ooh, not wanting to though, getting stunned though. And that will get cleared out by Nerthus. we be able to get stacked there and get the counterattack. That's gonna be cleared all the way down off the nest though. Cotton the Tiger has it now. He's gonna go for the pass. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Uh, it's gonna be Ghosty now. He's gonna clear that one all the way out. Uh, it's gonna hit off the Geo though. So it's gonna just bounce around the channel. Ooh. Lauren's going for the long clear. Gonna be a bit, hit off the Geo, you know? And it will be being picked up by Florin now. He's going to go for the clear, but on the back line, it's going to be Lawrence. He's going to take that one all the way up. Getting that pass over, but intercepted. And trying to get the clear out, Kaibone. Now going for the cut pass, possibly. Uh, will be a bit high into self-possession again. Going for the backboard shot, but it will be a bit long. And it's going to be cleared out. Yeah, definitely cleared out and sent down the other way through the bubble. But who's there to play? Well, unfortunately, everyone is. And it's going to be Ice Eagle getting a hand in it first. I mean, very, very disciplined play here from Equinox. But there's a long three. Oh, that might have gone in. But Kaibone had other ideas, certainly getting that one downfield right back. And there's a three opportunity. And just like that, the counterattack. Two, Equinox up seven. Yeah, Equinox uh, making their captain in chat proud, as you can see. Uh, they will get it up by seven. Uh, it's gonna be Nerthus Disc again. Let's see what they can do with it. Let's. They have plenty of time to get the lead back, but it will be flowing with this one. He's gonna take his time, pass it, or er, get the clear all the way down, but it will be in the hands of Lawrence. He's gonna clear that one to the right now, and it will go all the way into the orange bubbles. Uh, ooh, stunned out will be Ghosty. And Alfie will clear that one out. Getting the clear downfield. <laughs> it's a very slow race, but it will get picked up by Lawrence. I mean, and that's the big thing, especially at this level, it's pace, right? Yeah, it's how that. fast do you pass? How fast do you move? How fast do you stack? And, and more importantly, how accurate are all the above? And I mean, lots of the clears here, very bouncy and uh, very hard to read. And maybe a little bit too fast uh, there from Nerthus. Hey, Nerthus, how's it going in chat? Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully you're having a fun day. And uh, that's in submarine, but no 
Is it gonna get sent right back? Ghosty, and I mean, just a back and forth game. The score definitely does not rep, uh, replicate how close this game is. I mean, Nerth is having some great looks. They're just having a little bit too rushed, too rushed clears, too rushed passes, too rushed, too rushed plays. Well, Equinox are definitely taking their time as everyone does get stunned through in mid, and it will just be Flowen looking to get that one out. Yeah, Flowen gonna be on the back line, gonna clear that one all the way down to the blue zone, possible shot. Ooh, Kaibone headbutting it. Uh, picked up by Alfie. Going for the shot. What a shot it was. What an angle. He will hit that for the two. Wow. All right. Five point game. Two minutes left. It's still possible. I mean, all that they need is three threes or two three or two twos. No, three twos or two threes. And uh, it's certainly possible. Banana Man, how's it going, dude? You're in the OCE, right? Are you in the OCE? If so, good morning. 6 11 a.m. How's Saturday? How's the future? I hope it's bright. Uh, if not, if you're not OCE, then I'm wrong. But whew, what a shot. That would have been a great one. But Flowen had other ideas saving that one. Sending it down, sending it through, and sending it in right into the hands of Lawrence, who's going to send it right back. But bouncing super unfavorably as it will get connected again with the hands of Lawrence. Yeah, Flow. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Flowen playing some amazing defense on the back line currently, but it will be cleared all the way down to the blue bubble. Uh, this time, it's going to be to the right. It's going to be picked up by Lawrence now. He's going to clear that one all the way down the middle. Not being able to get a hand on it is Flowen, though. Uh, all the way up to the right now. It's going to be caught in the Tiger. Picking that one up. Going to take their time. Pass that one all the way up. It's going to hit off the... Uh, double diamond, go for the clear now, but Ghosty going to be able to pick that one up, waiting for his teammates to get open. Uh, he's going to look for that pass, and he will juke out a bit on the wall. Going to get that cross pass over to Kaibone. Kaibone going to take it for a little bit, going for a Ooh. shot off the ding ring though, and clear it out by JSL. JLS, sorry. Yeah, that's going to move down all the way through. But it will get picked up here uh, by Equinox. Uh, Banana, oh, you're, uh, you're Eastern as well. Okay, cool. Uh, I, were, you, were you also in the streams earlier to this morning? I don't know. I swear I saw, thought I saw you. Maybe I was wrong. Anyway, um, definitely a good time uh, as that is going to be five seconds left. With which Equinox will take this game around one, nine to four. Absolutely insane. And man, I mean, uh, Fiend will hopefully go get a Pop-Tart after this, because that's what he told me after this game, although he's not playing today. Uh, but that's okay. He's joining us in chat, I do believe. Are, are you? Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, um, he's uh, died for uh, that, but Nevertheless, I mean, a fantastic job uh, from them. 9-4, to four, I mean, hey, the score speaks for itself. Uh, Nerthus, though, if he is feeling good. Uh, Cotton's off target was saying that they're feeling pretty good coming off the win earlier tonight. Hoping they can keep the momentum going. So, I mean, this is their second game. Maybe a little bit fatigued. I don't know. I mean, it's a five-point game, Aiden. I mean, it's pretty close. If you were, you know, if you were in the shoes of Equinox and, you know, you're you're prompt and you're happy, you just want to keep it up. Okay, okay. But if you're nerfed this, if you're, okay, you know, we had some good looks. We had some opportunities. What's going through your head and what are you telling your team to kind of turn around and get that round two W? I would say we need to take more time, guys. We need to wait, be more patient. Uh, Equinox was being very patient that game. They held it when they didn't need to pass. They just took their time with it. As for Nerthus, they just kind of rushed through it. But they can definitely change that in round two, which should be starting in about a few seconds. Heck yeah, man. Exactly. I, I totally agree. It's just that time, slow it down. You know, make those passing plays. They certainly can. I mean, s stats are, are even uh, in terms of possession time and terms of stuns. But again... We've seen it all night. It's just the shots taken. I mean, Equinox having over triple the amount of shots taken compared to Nerthus. And, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, that's going to end up in Ws. So, uh, considering they've only taken four shots and scored twice, Nerthus is doing pretty well. But they need more to win tonight. Is that going to be one more shot and one more goal for Ghosty getting Equinox on the board first in round two? Yeah, Ghosty going to put the disc in and get the early lead for Equinox in the second round. Captain, once again, very proud. Um, but it's going to be nervous with the disc, and uh, I I want to see them take the time with it. I want to see them get some goals up, and it will be flowing now with it. Taking their time, going to clear it all the way down. His teammate will be down this time, and it will be into the hands of Cotton the Tiger. Getting a little under there. 
but it will be picked up now by Alfie. Alfie has three people on him. Gonna still have that disc over the two, but saved by Lawrence and cleared out. Yeah, he's gonna get cleared out here um, as it is. Gonna get picked up by uh, Alfie. Looking for a bounce shot, looking for a shot regardless, not quite finding the right angle, but he's gonna get bounced out, cleared through. Regardless, it's gonna be Lawrence picking it up now to Flowin. Who's looking for another boop shot, maybe? I mean, I just want to see some short passing plays. I just want to see some short passing plays. I mean, Nurthus, they have such great offensive uh, midfield pressure. That's going to bounce in almost. Hoo -hoo. Just barely not. Uh, but, I mean, they have such good passing plays, uh, or sorry, possession. They just need to find their short passing plays. They need to find those opportunities. They're going for these long, long Hail Marys, uh, if you want to use a football term. Uh, although this is the EU. But nevertheless, I mean, again, picked up by Flowen, but just cleared through to whom? Who is he clearing to? I mean, that connects to one, but uh, they had some time. They had some time. Stop rushing these plays. I'd love to see them slow down and uh, really just, you know, play their game. Take a moment, breathe. As that doesn't quite bounce in, but it will bounce into the hands uh, of Ice Eagle, who is looking for two and gets it. Just like that. 4-0 Equinox. What an amazing shot there from Ice Eagle. Yeah, uh, Nerthus, just take more time with it. Seriously. If they take more time, they, they would be maybe ahead right now. But, either way, it will be Nerthus with the disc once again. It is going to be Flowin. He's going to be on it. Uh, going for the pass down off the Geo, though. Ooh, into the hands of JLS. Possibly calculated. I don't know. Uh, it's going to be Lawrence now. Getting that clear out. And it will be uh, in the hands of no one. Yeah, it will be in the hands of no one but Alfie J looking for a clear, but no way. Lawrence is there, and he's ready uh, to send it right back down. And JLS trying to get a hand on this. No way. No way. No way. What a shot. JLS gets it done. Nerf is on the board, making this a one-point game. What an amazing shot there from JLS off the backboard. Right in the goal. I think that was right in the middle of the goal, if I'm not mistaken. But... It will be Equinox now with the Joust Advantage for the first time in this round two. But it will be, uh, I think that was Ice Eagle with it. He passed that left in the hands of Ghosty. Ghosty pressured by the stack though. He's going to clear that one down to Kai Bone. Kai going to go for the cut pass. Ooh, trying to get the hands of Ice Eagle, but Ice Eagle not going to be able to get a hand on it. Alfie J now going to clear that one down into the blue zone. Into the blue zone. But it's going to get picked up by Alfie. No way. No, no. There is no way, unfortunately. It's a little bit too low. But it's going to get stolen right back. And Alfie's here to display. Oh, ho, ho. didn't see the goalie in time, I don't think. Because Kai Bone is, has ice in their veins, ice in their bones. As that is going to just be an ice cold save. And that's going to be a counterattack. It's an open three. What a play, Ice Eagle. God. Taking it back very confidently. Seven to three now. Four point game, Equinox. What an amazing shot. Equinox now taking it by four. Um, it's, I gotta say, Nerthus definitely doing better in the second round, but Equinox is also doing equally better, and they're, they're just able to keep their lead, but it will be flowering with the disc now. He's gonna go for the left pass, but no one's gonna be present at the moment. Uh, it's gonna be Kaibone. Go for the possible shot here off the... Ooh, close one, but it's a bit to the left. It will be Alfie J now. Gonna go for the clear, but it will be picked up by Lawrence. Lawrence trying to get the pass over to Ice Eagle. Ice Eagle not gonna be able to get a hand on it, but it will be Ghosty able to get a hand on it. Cleared down though. Uh, Alfie J taking it, gonna clear that one out the tube, but it will be unsuccessful. Uh, into the hands of Lawrence now. Lawrence gonna pass that one all the way up to his teammate Ice Eagle. Uh, Ice Eagle's gonna get sunned out though. Uh, it's gonna be picked up now by Ice Eagle. Ice Eagle possible shot, and it will oh. be in for the two. What amazing teamwork coming from Equinox. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it, it really is. Uh, but, I mean, a six-point game, you know what? That's still very, very reachable for Nerthus. We can see a round three here. We can see the counterattacks come through. I mean, as Lock 11 likes to say, Master EU player, uh, you know, whatever they can do to us in the first half of the game, they we can do right back to them. I mean... He always likes to clarify that if it's a close match, and I, I would define this as a close match. I mean, Nerthus, 
only one goal so far in the second round, but I mean, they've shown some great signs of life, some great accuracy. They just need to get that goalie stun in or uh, maybe some short passing plays as they like, keep on talking about. But unfortunately, they're not going to have enough time because they don't do any passing plays. They're just walking in solo. That's going to get stolen their ways and going to bounce right back. The stacks, the stuns, but it will get picked up by Ghosty, but no, slapped out uh, from the stun as Cotton Tiger looks for the clear off the head, but the second time it does go through. Alfie getting that really fast clear down all the way to the blue trench. It's going to be picked up by Cotton the Tiger now. He's going to be pressured by two people from Equinox, but it will be into the hands of Equinox. Ghosty, Ghosty going to clear that one all the way down. On the back line, though, it's, uh, it's going to be Flowin', but it will be picked up by Lawrence. Flowin's not going to be able to get a hand on that one. Cross pass over to Ghosty. Ghosty going for the shot, possibly Flowin' there, though. He's going to clear that one to the left, all the way down to the trap. Uh, it's going to be slapped out by Lawrence. Uh, it's going to be Ice Eagle, one-on-one -on -one with the goalie, oh. and going for the shot, and he will hit it up by eight now, I think. My math is correct, right? Yeah, up by eight, you're correct. 11 to three, three minutes left on the clock. I mean, Equinox, they're definitely a team to watch. Coming in at bronze four. Uh, Nurse at silver four. I mean, I expected this game to go the other way, to be honest, based off the stats, but... I mean, Equinox came ready to play, ready to make Nurse's pay uh, because they're coming in hot as there's a quick passing play. And for once, the short plays work out. Nurthus gets two more on the board, making it a five points for them. Down by six. They can still do this. They can still do it. There's plenty of time left. Only down by... Math is very difficult. Six, 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 yes. Only down by six now. Uh, it's going to be... Uh, it's it's going to be Ice Eagle getting the pass left to Ghosty. Ghosty not being able to get a hand on it, though. It will be all the way down to the trench. It will be Kaibone uh, having it now. I'm going to go for the pass to Ghosty. Ghosty picking it up. One-on-one -on -one with the goalie again. Going for the shot, and uh, Plowin just not going to be able to get a hand on that one. It will be Ghosty for the two. It will be Ghosty for the two, and uh, I mean... Time's getting tight. Time's getting tight. It's certainly possible. Uh, try as they might, it certainly is possible. But, uh, man, oh, man. Time shall tell all. Uh, time shall heal all wounds. That's what I was thinking of. But it doesn't really apply here. As that's going to be a wounded uh, spirit. Because that disc is going to bounce back into the bubble. But set out the second time. Does bounce very favorably. Getting through mid. Uh, but it will get intercepted here by Ghosty. Ghosty sending it right back. And I mean 130 on the clock. There still is time. They need to get going. As it is going to be caught in the Tiger. Looking for a long pass. I know I've been talking about short passes all day. But they really do need those long clears. And recovers. Uh, but the stacks just aren't ready. The stacks just aren't there. Uh, that's going to be an open three, but that's not going to be the shot to look for. Maybe a second time opportunity. Yes. Ice Eagle. Jukin. Not trying to get stunned. A low pass. And two more. Just like that. Ghosty score. Ten point game. Equinox. Insane. Yeah. Equinox. Pulling it back together. Taking it by ten now. Um, I believe that's going to be it for the time. But... Who knows? Maybe they can get a few more points in before the game's over. Let's find out. It's going to be Nerthus with the disc. Now. Ooh, fast stack coming in from Ghosty. Ghosty trying to get that stun out, but getting the throw early will be Alfie. Uh, JLS uh, going to be on the floor just juking around for a little bit. He's going to get that clear all the way down, uh, but no one's going to be there for it. Um, it's going to be all the way back up. Ice Eagle's going to have it. He's going to clear that one all the way down, and that is the game, ladies and gentlemen. Uh... Still time to make a few more points, as I believe that was Alfie's going to clear that down. Uh, it's it's just kind of back and forth now. Ghosty's going to have it. Maybe he's going to try and get another goal, uh, but it won't be able to happen as Alfie stuns out or clears that one all the way down. That's yeah, what a clear and uh, what a game. I mean, Equinox. Uh, I mean, lots of fan or well, one singular ch fan in chat from died uh, died first. Hook lol. Uh, very interesting name there. Anyway, uh, the actually, I know, I know, I know. Uh, <laughs> I just never read the name in Twitch. Uh, but man, what a fantastic, what a fantastic game. Oh snap! How's it going, Jinx? Peekaboo, it's me. 
Uh, hopefully, uh, you uh, you saw some matches earlier. If not, it's a good time. Uh, Naticus, thanks, casting uh, team. Go Echo, play can't stay. Naticus, you know how it goes. See you around. I'm um, have a good one. Peekaboo. Um, I love it. Jinx, I say that all the time now. It's all because of you. Uh, much love, man. But uh, much love to both these teams. Absolute GG's across the board. Uh, Equinox does take it in two when they do break into silver. Uh, I can say for certainty that was the rank-up match as long as they uh, submit the scores on time. So congratulations. Welcome to the world, worldwide web of silver. Uh, I don't know why the world wide web is. Anyway, nevertheless, that's all. Um, GG's, no re's. But uh, that's it. That's all. We will be back here in a couple hours. Huge shout out to our sponsors. HyperX, Asterion Products, ProTube VR, Rebuff Reality VR Cover, and VRAware.net. Also, a huge shout out to IgniteVR.gg and the Spark application, as Jinx so lovingly put in chat earlier, uh, for providing all those stream statistics. Download it today, guys. I mean, seriously, it's so useful. It's so amazing. You can rewatch your games. It can auto-clip your highlights. It can auto-submit scores if you become in the production team. And hey, if you want to join the production team, please do. We'd love to have you. Uh, Aiden here just uh, is our first uh, graduate from uh, the onboarding. I'm so uh, special. In season in season four, so uh, congratulations. Uh, but the link is in chat if you are interested in joining. But that's it. That's all. Huge shout out to Ben Borst, importantly, uh, to all you in chat. Because, I mean, at least for me, I do this because of you. So Jinx, uh, Joe, uh, Died, Cedric, everyone else hanging out with us. Naticus, who just left. Um, Bob Jeffrey. Everyone else who uh, was hanging out with us, uh, even the chat ghosts who didn't say a single word, thank you. Thank you for hanging out with me today and, and with Aiden and with Doc Education on Cams. We appreciate you. But that's it. That's all. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Season 4 of VRML Echo Arena is brought to you by HyperX, Asterian Products, VRWare, Rebuff Reality, VR Cover, and Pro2VR. <laughs>